Hey nerds, welcome to Jerry Berry X. Today we're going to react to Season 1, Episode 10, a.k.a. the Season 1 finale to the Game of Thrones prequel, also known as House of the Dragon. The Season 1 finale is entitled The Black Queen. We have the Blacks versus the Greens. That sounds awful, by the way. So yeah, that's our two situations we have going so far. And listen, if you haven't watched anything, I'm Team, I'm team Rhaenyra. I don't fuck with Allison. I don't fuck with them people. I don't fuck with Kristen Cole. I don't mess with them. All right? I don't like them. All I'm saying is one word. Dracarys. Should have ended the last episode, and it would have ended a lot of bullshit probably to come. But anyways, we're going to get into this. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe for daily content. If there's a day, there's a reaction. There's links in the description box down below for the Patreon, Twitch stream, and everything in between. If you're watching this episode on YouTube, that means this episode is up on Patreon right now for you guys to watch, as well as the other nine episodes. All ten episodes uncut for your enjoyment we got the halloween theme eight days removed from halloween hope you guys have a great halloween when that does come around i hope you enjoy house of the dragon we're gonna get into this i love your face and uh let's do it jerry get to work i understand my king fuck you secretly to install we've been, my son without me we've been plotting returning grievously if not mortally wounded, leaving the Lady of Dreamheart there was, to chart her course alone. Okay. There was a shot of Corliss right there fighting. Again, we don't know if he's dead or not, and I appreciate people in the last episode telling me about the Eric and Eric thing, about one is for the Team Black, one's for the Team Green, yada yada, whatever. Um, oh, man, my nipples are hard. Oh, fucking little racist. <laughs> rapist. I don't know if he's racist, sorry. There's a beast beneath the boards. And there it is. Hit it. That's my HBO impersonation. <laughs> I mean, dude, like I said, that's got to be one of the greatest intros of all time. I mean, there's there's a lot of really good ones, but that shit just does something to my body. Adi, adi, adi. Is this the map in, in Dragonstone? And also, don't forget, yeah, we don't even, we haven't gotten Rhaenyra's, we haven't got her reaction to what's going on, if she even knows, or what she knows. I imagine old girl gonna show up on her motherfucking dragon, like, rrr, rrr. Princess Rhaenys has just arrived on Dragonback. She urgently requests an audience with you and Prince Damon. That's good, bro, it ended. It's picking up right where that episode ended, dog, let's go! You don't think that shit's urgent? Oh, fuck it. Hip, hip. Nah, y'all are too cordial, man. Walking in like this and just dit, 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 dit. no. I'd be sprinting in like, hey, guess what? Corliss is recovering. Viserys is dead. I grieve this loss with you, Rhaenyra. My cousin. Mm. Your father. Even that slow turn from Damon, man. Just the way he. A kind heart. Just the way he turned. That's fine. Get to the fucking juice of it, though. What else? That shit immediately done caused some fucking cramping. They crowned him. How did Viserys die? I could not say. How long ago? The day passed, perhaps two. I was made a prisoner in my quarters while the queen made her preparations. Viserys has been slain. He hasn't been Our slain. Seat. Rightful king. That whore of a queen murdered my brother and stole his throne, and you could have burned them. A war is like to be fought over this treachery, to be sure. He said what I said. Hey, oh, for, she didn't kill him. All right, he did. He did down his own accord. But I get that. I get the thought process behind it. But you could have burned them all right where they fucking stood, and then nothing. That war is not mine to begin. I only rush this warning to you out of loyalty to my husband and to my house. I understand what she just said, though. This war isn't mine to be. Okay. All right. That's fair. Uh, touche. Touche what played. The Greens are coming for you, Rhaenyra. Your grandson, King Viserys, has passed. Viserys? The Greens have repudiated the succession and claimed the Iron Throne. Egon has been crowned king. What is to be done about it? Nothing yet. And where is Damon? I don't know. Bro, that, there's a there's a building point, and you you feel it building, and like the the anticipation is flying through my body. Fever is broken, and he has left Evenport. Okay. 
So he's he's still alive. Okay, okay, okay. You will do no such thing. Lord Tully. Hey, Lord Man, what you coming here? Has decreed no action be taken while she's in bed. It's good you're here, young prince. You're needed to patrol the skies on Vimax. Did you hear what I said? I appreciate him, bro. Mo <laughs> Little brother, little brother, little brother got balls, dog. He just walked in. Come with me. I'll show you the true meaning of loyalty. I appreciate Jay stepping up like that. That's good for him. That takes a lot of confidence. Here comes this motherfucking long neck chicken bot. This fucking, this fucking thing is so goofy looking. I love him though. He just wants little head pats. Oh. 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 You pulling that motherfucker out head first? Oh, I don't hear no crying. Oh no, that motherfucker. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, the babe. That brother got home. That motherfucking baby. Oh no. You gotta, you gotta give it little CPR. Little baby CPR. Two fingers between the nips, right below, right below the, the nip line, and that's still her baby. But hey, that's what happens when you have incest, you know? That's the fucking risk you take, no? So I gotta make light of the situation in some way, shape, or form. That's really fucking depressing. Oh man, they're both they're both mourning and 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 grieving in their own way. I mean, she's there with the babe. With the, oh no, and she crumbles. He's out on the beach with his sword. Could, I couldn't imagine that as a, as a parent. Not a parent, but like if I was to have a kid, like I just, I watch, I watch one of my closest friends go through something like that. And it was, oof. Oh, he brought, Oh, he brought his brother's fucking crap! The queen. Oh, she brought your daddy's you crown and- friend. Oh, my fuck. And give my blood for hers. I shall take no wife. Hold no land. Fucking man. Oh, oh. I don't know. Put that crown upon her head. Baby, home, baby. Set that right there. Oh my God. And Damon taking the knee to his own wife, niece. His own niece wife. The Black Queen. The King of the North. <laughs> the King of the North was one of the coolest scenes in this whole fucking, like, all of this, like, mythos. And it just is fucking for nothing. It was for nothing. Fuck you, season eight. And even though Aegon Targaryen was the prince that was promised, the one that would unite the lands, and it was all given to us with little Johnny Boy, and that's not how I'm going to write the show, Nurse Ori Bob. That's not what I'm going to do. Doop, doop, doop. And then Danny just forgot about the peoples. And then we're going to have her turn super quickly, and it's not going to make no sense. <sighs> I'm sorry. It got the best of me. Sure, it made sense, but it was super fucking rushed, and you just send my man John off to guard the black, have him take the wall again, and whatever, whatever. But we're not here. We're not talking about this. This is 150 years before, bro. I'm gonna reel it in. Crown looks good on her. Oh, that is actually sick right there. Hold on, I do want to look at this for a second. So bear with me. The Borrowlands, Whitehall, but Winterfell, but a hee ha hoodie ha. Uh, yeah. So we got this. Come on down to this this little place, place. Great Tower Watch, the Twins, Old Stone, the Sea Guard, Vale of the Erin. I like it, man. River Run. What if she was like, I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> what is our standing? We have 30 knights, 100 crossbow men, and 300 men at arms. Sent ravens to Lord Grover. 
He's so happy about it, what he's done. Lord Over Grover's to Century Raven. Fickle and easily swayed. He'll need to be convinced of the strength of our position. And with House Stark, the North will follow. Lord Boris and you know Burton. what, baby? I when it comes to houses, listen, I'm gonna I'm a, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. You know everybody's got their Harry Potter house, right? Everybody's like, you know, fucking I'm a Slytherin. Listen. When it comes to the Game of Thrones houses, I vibe with a lot of them. I, I really do. And I love the Targaryens. The dragons whole thing is dope. We managed to get the Targaryen clan name for uh, Destiny 2, right? We, we, we locked that down. But, but when, it comes, when it comes to the nitty-gritty, I'm a Stark, all right? I, the king in the north, bro, I'm telling you. Like, something about just all the Starks, maybe because they did have a lot of the focus, but Eddard and just seeing people and, and Rob and everybody else and, and that just whole clan of people, man, and, and the wolves and the... The, the worgen abilities and everything it's just come on wargs like come on what's not to love i i vibe with the north heavily i'm a stark i'll come fight for your honor i'm not taking no ills and we'll need to be reminded of his father's promises i'm my baratheon baratheons are some little shit birds sometimes do you would dare to make an enemy of the valarian fleet and uh, you got to think too because uh, Corliss is kind of in a 50-50 position when it comes to it. In my in my eyes right now, maybe I have it maybe I have it uh, skewed a little bit. But remember, he kind of not necessarily turned his back, but he went against King Viserys and went with Damon. So he went to go be with Damon. Corliss and Damon were kind of tag teaming for a minute, but now with Rhaenyra here, we'll see if he goes. You see what I'm saying? I don't have the I don't know how to put that into words properly, but I feel like he could have a 50-50 position on it. He'll join or he won't. Our enemies. We have no friends among the Lannisters. Tyland has served the hand too long to turn against him. Fuck the Lannisters, not bro. Not high tower needs the Lannister fleet. Just we kidding. I like Lannisters a few of them. Not like to find Large enough to house a sizable host here at Harrenhal. We cut off the west, surround King's Landing with the dragons, and we could have every greenhead mounted on spikes before the fucking moon turns. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, bro, I, fuck, I fuck with Damon. Galley and flying a banner of a three-headed green dragon. Alert the watchtowers. Sight the skies. Three-headed green dragon. Is that real? Cerberus? Or was it just saying three dragon? I gotta sneeze. She up there on her dragon, baby. Think about all this too, man. Queen Rhaenyra's up here. Like, she's flying around. She just gave birth to a stillborn, basically. She just went through that trauma. I don't know how many days have passed, but Jesus Christ, for her to just mount up and just do everything she's doing right now, not even flying, but in her position, that's a lot of mental fortitude, okay? Just like that episode, she came and got that motherfucking dragon, boy. Look at that parallel. That's so nice. The, oh, I, thought, I thought the dragon had a crown for a second, too. Aegon Targaryen sits the Iron Throne. He ain't nothing but a masturbator and a motherfucking Where's rapist, the dog. Where's crown? Wields the Conqueror's sword. Has the conqueror's name. He was anointed that by the captain of the faith. Before that doesn't mean he's the goddamn conqueror, bro. He's a little shitbird. You are no more hand than Egor is king. Fucking traitor. She just fucking hated that motherfucking thing. Boy, had y can y'all make multiples? Grand Maester. Well, he got a backup hand ready to go. <laughs> I'm not gonna this. lie. If for whatever reason, the maester would have walked up and been like, and he would have clipped another fucking thing back on. Top tier moment, I would have lost my shit. Oh, that's that fucking bullshit ass page she ripped off. She can have her answer now, stuffed in her father's mouth along with his withered cock. Let's end this mama's fart. Sir Eric, bring me Lord Hightower so I may take the pleasure myself. <laughs> I do not wish to rule over a kingdom of ash and bone. I don't blame you. Are you considering the High Tower's terms, Your Grace? Do not wish to be a queen over ash and bone. Hey, if only that nod would have passed down to my fucking Danny. Sarah shared it with me when he named to me. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Damon. Hey, bro, this ain't my sexy time, bro. Was a slave to his omens and portents. Anything to make his feckless reign appear to have purpose. Dreams didn't make us kings. Dragons did. <laughs> the 
This man done giffle gaffled her by her goddamn throat. I never told you. Does he? He never told you what he told me down there with the motherfucking Doug Dimmodome dagger in front of the dragon school. He's gonna let him get away with grabbing your shit like that? Don't grab my throat like that, bro. So we gonna have to make love in front of that fireplace. Oh shit, what's up, Lord Corliss, baby? <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you're all right, my guy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop for a second before they continue any further with their conversation, while it is important. But, uh, Damon doesn't know the news and information and stories told to Rhaenyra, again, with that, 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 that dagger, um, in front of, in front of the dragon thing. And I, I don't want to paraphrase the actual quote about the power of the dragons and whatnot, but I get Damon's viewpoint of saying, Hey, this stuff didn't make us King dragons did when it's all just smoke and mirrors, really. Um, He lets his emotions get the best of him, and I appreciate Rhaenyra staying level-headed in her decision-making. I had thoughts, and they left me. I feel like I had more to say on that, but now I'm, I want to know about this conversation. Damn it! All right, sorry about that. It, it's, it's, it's gone. Both such. You have the full support of our fleet and house. Let's go, baby! <laughs> I appreciate you, Lord Corliss. That's a big W. You honor me, Lord Corliss. And you know what's crazy with, with Rhaenyra was this this was optional. Princess Rhaenys. I think if they chose to say, hey, I'm going to go bounce and I'm going to go to my home and just be with my family, I think Rhaenyra probably would have let them do that. I took care to fully garrison the territory this time. A total blockade of the shipping lanes will be in place in days, if not already. The Triarchy have been routed. The Narrow Sea is ours. That's another I bro like Jameis Winston said you better eat a W seal the gullet. We can cut off all seaborne travel and trade to King's Landing. I should take Maylis and patrol the gullet myself. When we drain the narrow sea, we can surround King's Landing, lay siege to the Red Keep, and force the Green's surrender. You hear the theme song kicking in. Swords to surround King's Landing. Dragons can fly faster than ravens. We just had a whole conversation about dragons being outnumbered for the greens. I don't like the focus. If they actually show them flying there, I don't like the focus of that. That could lead to bad shit. Hey, what if? I expect you will receive a very warm welcome. Yes, mother. Your grace. <laughs> you can call me whatever you want, kiddo. What if they lose that little pamphlet thing? Like, what if it flies out of their pocket? I don't like the long staring between you two. Go to it, then. The long staring normally just leads to fucking disaster, bro. You got a little baby dragon right there. He's just a little guy. What is that, brother? That's a big mother lover, brother, brother. Is that smog? Benedict Cumberbatch, it's good to have you, dog. Hey, that motherfucker is violent looking. Ah, to ah. Hello, my friend. Which one was that? Which dragon was that, bro? Because that motherfucker was big. He was just a big ass puppy dog and wanted to be petted. I'm glad you guys have a uh, a dragon landing pad. <laughs> I would I would I don't even know what I would do if I was just a random patron. You look up and you see a fucking I just uh yeah hey boys we're gonna die today so you can go ahead and give me a second piece a uh, second piece of brisket. What is that ugly some bitch? 
I'm still caught up on that big fucking. <laughs> I went into the Game of Thrones song. I was trying to do the Jurassic Park thing. Oh no. Like a big ass fucking bronchiosaurus. Prince oh, there's there's Eamon's fucking eye patch over here. Hey, Eamon, what you doing here, baby boy? I really think that you could just fly about the realm trying to steal my brother's throne at no cost. I will not fight you. I came as a messenger, not a warrior. Fight would be little challenge. No. I want you to put out your eye. I mean, pull out my eye, bro. Why's your eyeball blue? It's payment for mine. I mean, I got a little sapphire eyeball up in that bitch. Hey, Boris, put your motherfucking foot down and let him know, like, hey, man, you can try to do this shit in my hall. Like, I'm going to redact what I just took your mother's. Fuck you both. Bro, they didn't show out of the motherfucker for no reason, bro. I'm so anxious right now. Oh, my fuck. There's a big bitch above you, brother bear. Oh, my God. My man flying on a fucking corgi and got a mastiff above him. You know what I'm saying? Damn, that's a big ass bitch. Hey, he out here. No, I'll do it. Arax done got. Arax did that on his own volition. Arax said, you know, I ain't no fucking bitch. I'm not no baby dragon. Oh. <laughs> if they're survive. No Vega. Oh, dude, that's so cool. Flying above the storm. Yeah, that's sick. Flying above the storm. I was thinking that in the first place. That's a beautiful sight. I flew above a storm once in an airplane, bro, and that shit was just like, it's so cool once you break the storm because you're just like, oh, hey, look. Look how cool it is up here. It's too quiet. Oh, my God. Oh, you just killed old boy. Oh, what a pause. Oh, this motherfucker just got T-bone flying a dragon. Bro, he bit that son bitch in half. Bro, ain't no fucking way. I told you there was too much there was too much talk about there was too much talk about dragons being outnumbered. You can't kill a dragon easy as a man, but dragons can kill dragons, blah blah blah. So you think it would tie in at some place. I thought this was gonna be a flight thing and maybe he would get home scared, but this man just I got a mute it because it's so loud. Look at this shit, dude. I mean, he gets straight up T bone, driver side. He goes in mouth first, and that motherfucker bites that baby dragon in half. Bites him in half. And his little pieces just fly about back into the storm clouds, and Eamon knows that he just fucked up. Jesus. You can see the stumble in her step that he already tell her. She's about to throw up into the fucking fire. Right into the fire. This means war. Fuck! That's a war look right there. She tried to be peaceful. She tried to play all stupid ass fucking games. But you done took one of her baby boys? You done took one of her kids? Ooh, I like that George R. R. Martin logo. That's fucking sick, bro. Why? That's the first time I've ever seen that. That's really cool. That fucking turn right there, bro. Done dotted. Done dotted. I didn't plan on watching that, but there is no look ahead. So uh, the inside of the episode, I used to watch all those for Game of Thrones, but I used to never watch the, the episode leading forward because I didn't like the trailers for his episode. I just like watching it as it happens. I don't like the spoilers and stuff. And I've been off Twitter for a bit other than my scheduled post for like the Lucifer reactions and stuff simply, for, simply because uh, I heard that this finale got spoiled for a lot of people. And I, I'm sorry if that happened to you. That sounds absolutely awful. But it is a domino effect, and I'm not going to have the um, the inside the episode stuff on YouTube. 
I might if I chop it up a little bit, but that's just more of me just watching rather than commentating and reacting. But I do agree that it is a domino effect. And I think Amond was simply trying to bully little Luke and trying to scare him, but it took a step further. And both their dragons disobeyed, it seems like. It seems like Eric's breathed fire on his own on his own thing. Like, he did it and pissed off Vagar, and Vagar ate his ass for it. And in that moment, I was expecting a um, Phantom Menace moment. You know, there's always a bigger fish. I was expecting whatever dragon that Damon just went and gathered to come up and fucking arm to also, like, fight or do something, whether it be, I don't know, after that fight that we just watched or beforehand or maybe to, like, nudge him away and save him. It's just like there's always a bigger fish, you know, but Vagar's a big bitch. So, but Eamon does trickle this domino effect because Rhaenyra has lost both of her parents. And she's grieved in different ways, mostly off screen. She's lost a lover that she sent away. She had a stillborn. And this this is for the context of the show and not for real life. So bear with me when I say this. I think in terms of the show, you know, she has, other than bearing the child and carrying it, she doesn't have that full-blown attachment. And yes, she's still grieved. For the baby that she lost. It's not like she's, oh, it's dead, blah, blah, blah. She's still grieved. And it was still impactful. But it's not as impactful as her little boy that she just lost. That has been with her for these years. That was just trying to go be a messenger, not a warrior. It's a whole different level. So it's not trying to downplay a miscarriage or stillbirth or anything like that. Because I've witnessed that shit firsthand with my friends. And it's, just, it's, it's heart-wrenching. But in the Game of Thrones universe, things are a little bit different. And But at the end of the day, she's still a mother. And she goes through and she loses this kid. And you see in that turn and that look in her face that this means war. Like, she's trying to be peaceful. But now, a civil message that's went across. She didn't want to act. And I don't think even on Allison's side, they wanted to act. But I think Eamon is going to be the main cause of, again, the domino effect there. Damon, on the other hand, goes off to claim this dragon. I'm wondering... I can't remember the other names. I wonder if it is the Vermithor, because I have read about Vermithor before a little bit, if I'm saying that correctly. That would actually be pretty sick. He goes off to get that. You see, like they said, the the uh, the divide in the household between those two. Not necessarily the divide, but Damon wants to shed blood. Rhaenyra wants to kind of keep the peace. And with these R being sister episodes, there is no Allison. There is no, there is no Aegon. There is none of the fucking knuckleheads over there, other than Otto, over there in King's Landing. Otto comes, gets his King of the Hand thing ripped off, thrown away. And he's delivered with the message. And it was an enticing offer for Rhaenyra to, for, to take that peace. Like, we're offering you peace, blah, blah, blah. We are going to give you this. You get this. You get to go be cupbearers and get your high lands and yada, yada. I like what Damon said. He said, I'd rather, you know, my kids die with a sword and shield than to hold cups and whatever the fuck. If that's what he's paraphrasing again. But I get his message. That's an enticing offer. Because remember, not the same offer, but Damon had an offer to, hey, you can live here, blah, 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 live out peacefully. And that's, that's not what his wife wanted. And now he's in the opposite situation where he wants the bloodshed and his wife doesn't want it. So we didn't get to see their babies either. So they're Aegon. They're Aegon. I was hoping when they said they named Aegon that maybe we get a moment where Rhaenyra's like, if, if I, I can't think of her name, Rhaenyra's, if she would have said, They've named Aegon to be king. She would have said it like that, maybe. And then she's like, our baby? And then she goes into saying, no, uh, Aegon's already been announced king. Aegon, blah, blah, blah. Go that route. Just a brief moment, because she does have another kid. She has three other kids, right? It says she's had five kids already. I think her and Damon have had three. Is that what it was? Or no. Joffrey. Where is Joffrey? I think they mentioned it in the last episode or two. She's had two kids with Damon, and the third one's the one that died. Um, it's, it's a great first season. I know we're, we're rambling quite a bit here, but that's a really great first season. It's good storytelling. Not a lot of action. And Game of Thrones had a bunch of low moments where there wasn't action, but rather in-depth storytelling, which was great. And when we had those big moments, they were even more mind-blowing. And we saved the moment there for the end. So there's no war. There's no big battle. There's no battle of the bastards. There's no hard home. There's no swords clanging and seeing that Valerian still knocks away uh, uh, the, the dragon shit or the, the white walkers or the dragon glass is effective and this, that, and the other. It's simply drama between the house of the dragon while the other houses take the step back. And I, I, I absolutely adore it.
I think it's great. I'm still on Team Rhaenyra. I'm still vibing with Damon, even though the brother is a psychopath and he has killed his wife and, you know, all the other shit that he's done. But um, I'm more so Team Rhaenyra, and I want to see how it plays out. And I think uh, we'll probably have a showdown at some point between Damon and Aemon. We'll probably have dragons fighting dragons, and there's there's dragons still not claimed, and you have to go get them. And uh, I think next season will probably be more, not action-based, but more bloodshed and more of the characters that we see that we that we like and enjoy dying. And I'm looking forward to that. So season one, episode 10, the season one finale is entitled The Black Queen. You guys let me know your thoughts and opinions about this. Remember, I have not read the books. I don't know how this stuff plays out. If you have spoilers, please keep them to yourselves or put a spoiler tag and you can talk about it amongst other people in, in the comment section if you absolutely feel like you need to. Uh, but you can take it that route. And uh, I, I look forward to seeing you guys in season two, which I don't know if they have a release date on yet. I doubt it. They're probably still filming it. I'm going to see if they have any indication. Obviously, it'll be next year. Clearly, it's always it's always a year apart. But um, yeah, it doesn't look like they have anything listed just yet. I'm going to take one more look real quick. House of... I doubt they would have it, right? But you never know. Sometimes they do it ahead. The filming isn't expected to end until summer 2023, so it means fans can probably expect to see House of the Dragon Season 2 in 2024. Huh? Hopefully we get it in 2023. Hopefully something happens. If not, I will see you guys in 2024. Again, if you join Patreon just to watch this, I love and appreciate you. If, uh, if you're bouncing after this, you take care, drink some water. I'll see you when the show comes back. If you choose to watch it with me yet again, I'm heading out. Great first season. You let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. I have links and everything to the Patreon. You can watch all 10 episodes uncut in the description box down below. We'll have playlist up on screen. As always, stay cute, stay hydrated, and I will catch you on the next one.